All right, it's hard to believe, but I think I'm done with the EO29 and it's fully restored. So let's imagine we just got it in 1950, 1964, and we're going to do uh, Punching after uh, its uh, first release. So, program one, auto feed on, print on, punch, we're all good to go. Feed, there we go. Register, off we go. here hello so it prints beautifully it makes nice holes and uh, it uh, let's get the ante up here so I made uh, my first and best ever program actually it's a set of two, two programs here to do program driven entry which it helps you go much faster at punching. And what this one is going to do, um, it's going to uh, help us uh, fill a uh, first name, last name, born on kind of card. And I will have to print that. I'll just, it'll stop and ask me for those fields and format everything. So uh, the first one over here, program mode. Program one, uh, let's do auto feed, and off we go. So now we should be under program control. Feed. All right, it uh, copied the first field, asked me for the first name. Very good. And then the next field, mark. Date of birth. I will put the date of birth of the punch. So one uh, oh two sixty-four. I think I've formatted it. And let's try another one. Uh, first name. Thomas. Last name. Watson. And should have looked that up, but I have no idea when he's born. So let's try one, one, nineteen, thirty. Okay, and so it's much faster to punch uh, card under program control. So that's what you do uh, in production to do repetitive work. So here. Now it printed first name and it got here's mark and look it nicely formatted the date. Uh, same thing on the Thomas Watson card. So that's working fine. Uh, next feature um, that would be uh, auto duplicate. So that's another program that would be program two. Let's take uh, this one. Put it over here, and I will duplicate under program control, which is much faster than manual duplicate if I do it right. Program two, uh, two. register, and voila! It should have duplicated that card. Yeah, you can do the whole test, right? It's the same, the same one exactly. 
Uh, and then, uh, so that was the second program on the drum. Then last feature, uh, interpreting. I had prepared a, a beautiful card. I can't find it. There we go. So uh, that's a mystery card with no marking on the top. And we need to find out what it is. So we put it in here. Uh, we go to interpret. Uh, print is on. Program doesn't matter. The auto key doesn't matter. So let's see. And here we go, so that it found out what was on the card and printed it over here. And of course, this is all the uh, letters of the uh, alphabet, the whole set. So, give a hand for the IBM uh, 29 uh, key punch, fully restored.